Hello, everyone. My name is Sanjeev, and I'm from Sydney, Australia. And today we have got a very, very special guest with us. He's been crushing in the YouTube world, and that's what we're going to be talking about. And previously to this, I've been doing other online business, but uh, I also have been doing uh, YouTube for maybe two years now. And because I've joined this new program and I'm actually getting to mastermind with these uh, great people who are actually crushing in the YouTube world. So without further ado, let's introduce our guest and let him uh, share his own story. So Andrew, the stage is all yours. So go ahead, man. <laughs> well, I mean, it's good to be here. Thanks for, um, thanks for having me. Um, you know, I used to not like to do these. <laughs> uh, I did it with Ryan and, um, then I started uh, just accepting it from anyone who asked. Really, uh, it was uh, it, it. It feels good to share your story, like you know, like um, it rather than you know just keeping it keeping your whole story to yourself. You know, it, it's inspirational, it's motivational. Like it's good to it's good to get out there and you know share share some uh, inspiration. Um, yeah. But anyways, I guess uh, just a little about a little bit about myself. I'm um, twenty twenty six, still pretty young. Uh, graduated college, uh, did all that good stuff. And, um, you know, I, uh, was in my junior year and I decided that, you know, working a regular job, um, I didn't want that to be, you know, the rest of my life. Uh, I wanted to get out and travel and, um, learn new skills and, you know, um, be able to provide for my family, that sort of thing. Like, so it kind of pushed me and I was like, I started seeing all these other people, um, being successful in a business at a young age, you know, for me, it was like, Oh, you gotta be 50, 60, 70 years old to have a really successful business. And I was seeing these guys that were, you know, my age and even younger. And it's like, um, I, I didn't understand why, um, or how, like I wanted to learn how, like, uh, how were they being successful? Like, what were they doing? So I, I kind of just threw myself into it and, you know, I suffered from everything, uh, everything everyone else did at the beginning. Um, I had shiny object syndrome. I had uh, all these things that I feel like it's almost kind of like a rite of passage. Like I feel like everybody has to go through that uh, as a stage, kind of a stage of personal growth. Cause um, you, at the beginning, your mindset's not, you know, set in stone. It's kind of yeah. wobbly. So anytime you see someone like more successful, like say you're trying one model and then someone's like more successful at something else. And you're like, Oh, let me go do that too. Or let me go do that instead. And then you just do that. Like, I, I, that's what I did. Like, seven, seven, eight times I've done, you know, uh, Kindle publishing, uh, Amazon FBA, affiliate marketing, like, just done the whole shebang, just done everything. And while I did enjoy affiliate marketing, uh, I wasn't, <laughs> uh, I wasn't in the correct position to, to continue with it. So that's what I was doing before I jumped into YouTube. Um, uh, I was doing affiliate marketing for like, pretty much like a year and a half, two years of just mm. any extra money I had went into advertising. Like, and, and, you know, I made 10, 15 K off of it, which was great, but you know, I had spent 10 or 15 K. So uh, I just pretty much didn't get anywhere. Like it just didn't go anywhere. Um, and that's, you know, I think it was um, last summer is, is kind of when I had my uh, kind of my last push with it. And uh, at that point, I had, I think at the end of summer, I'd come into a little bit of money and it was to either spend more on ads, which at that point hadn't provided that much back, or uh, I came across one of Ryan's videos on his YouTube channel and he was, um, it was about automation. Uh, he had just picked up, um, he had just started the um, inner circle or, or the, the, the beginning group of students. Yeah. And, uh, you know, some of them I'm good friends with now, but um, I had seen that video and I was like, you know, he's showing the, he's showing the back end. You know, I already knew people on YouTube made a lot of money, um, but I knew it took a lot of work. You know, they, they, they edited their own videos. They created their own content. They wrote their own scripts. They voiced their own stuff. Like it's a lot of work. It's it just, if it's just you, Yep. you pre be prepared to spend the whole day every day pretty much working on it. And I was like, I would love to, you know, make the YouTube money, but I 
don't really want to put in that much time into it. Like I was already working a nine to five at the time. So uh, I didn't have, I didn't have time to do it. So come across Ryan's thing and he has, you know, it goes into I'll, the back. I'll, I'll oh, probably sorry. stop you there. Um, yeah. And I think this is going to lead you to another uh, question, which we can discuss. So if anyone is like listening to this and uh, joining up uh, right now, um, before we jump into it, like, I'll, I'd right, like to ask you, what is uh, YouTube automation? Okay. Yeah. So YouTube automation basically is a different approach than the conventional type of YouTube. You know, everything that you pretty much watch out there, um, like personality channels, like people are personal brand, like Mr. Beast or, you know, personal brands is, is kind of like the big thing right now. But YouTube automation is kind of an underdog, in my opinion. Um, basically, it, it's it's bringing together a team in order to sort of delegate the work and and kind of take that workload off of you, so that you're able to pursue a YouTube channel without having to accept all the workload that comes with it. Especially if you don't have a lot of time, because most of, you know most people out there you know working a job, they're going to school, uh, they have kids. Um, you know, it, it doesn't matter what, how old you are or what you do. Uh, we all have things that take up our time. And um, that's kind of what automation, YouTube automation solves, um, yep. which open, which in that respect creates opportunity for people who didn't have it before. Like yep. I, I didn't, I didn't have the time to, you know, go to a YouTube channel. Um, yep. But the automation opened my eyes and allowed me to see, Hey, Anybody, even someone working a full-time job can do this because that's exactly what I was doing when I started. <laughs> okay, sure, sure. And can you uh, can you also talk about uh, what goes into YouTube automation and which kind of people can do this? Do we need to have any previous uh, skills, any special skills, any previous knowledge regarding, even if they're not into online business, they haven't done it before, like, can they do this business? Like, what's your thought? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I mean, I've worked with hand in hand with people um, in our current group and stuff that are people who uh, have multiple kids, have jobs, they have zero tech experience, zero online experience. Uh, I was pretty amazed at the results they were able to get. You know, me personally, I, 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 I had been messing with business for five years. So, you know, uh, I, I will say any kind of experience in this kind of field. Yeah. You know, just like anything else in life, it, it's going to be beneficial. But uh, like I said, I work hand in hand with people every day that had zero experience and had no idea what they were doing. And yeah, you know, it, it's definitely possible. Uh, I, I see it every day. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Awesome. And also, can you talk about uh, like the, what's, uh, what have you actually achieved from this business and how long have you been doing it? And previously, did you do anything regarding YouTube? You know, it's funny. Uh, I think it was like two year, two and a half years ago or something like that. I, I tried to make a YouTube channel and it was, it was going to be um, about like puzzles, like, like mind puzzles and stuff like that. It's actually a really cool idea, especially back then, you know, cause nobody was really doing anything like that. Um, yeah. But I had tried to do it and then I realized the workload behind it and I walked away from it like, after the first week, I was like, this is too much. I can't, you know, I don't know how to edit. I don't know how to do any of this stuff. So, you know, that's where YouTube automation comes in. Um, that's when I saw it. And I was like, oh, this is, this is going to be perfect for me. So yep. I jumped into it and, um, you know, put in the time, uh, you know, just like any business, it takes time. It takes money. It takes uh, perseverance. You know, you got to be able to get through the, get through the roadblocks, you know, uh, and that's what I did. I, 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 I jumped into it. That was literally the last of my money. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't recommend. I wouldn't recommend doing that. But uh, you know, uh, I I was partially kind of desperate. You know, uh, like a lot of people are in, in business. You know, they want to. They want that life. They want. They want to get out of what they're in because it's too stressful or has an impact on their health or whatnot. But yeah. uh, I got into it and put in the time, uh, studied the material, and um, you know. Uh, 
some of it's a little bit of luck. Uh, you know, you can't deny that there's a little bit of luck in there, but um, yeah. yeah, you know, uh, everybody goes at their own pace. And uh, as long as you're making progress every day, the end result will always be the same. Okay. I got Razna here. Hello, Razna. How are you? Uh, she asked us your first channel based on Ryan's uh, niche, recommend or choose your own niche. And she said, is it your success? Is it mainly based on luck or it's just uh, your uh, skill set? So, yeah, I, I definitely went on his recommendations um, because, you know, Ryan's been in the game for uh, over two years. Uh, yep. And so, you know, his niche choices are, are based on, you know, high CPM niches. Um, so I definitely went with his recommendation because, uh, like, I know some people who are trying to pick their own niches and it doesn't always go so well because, you know, you, you're kind of just floating out there and you're not sure what's good and what's not. And, you know, mm. nobody's going to tell you that. Uh, yeah. And that's where, that's where Ryan comes in. He, 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 he has channels of multiple niches and, and knows people in other niches. So he knows firsthand the, 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 you know, the CPMs and, and kind of how well each niche does. So, you know, when it comes to me, I always take the advice of an expert, you know, if I'm, I came in fresh. I had no idea what I was doing. I'd never uploaded a YouTube video. I was like, uh, I'm just going to go by the book. So I, I, you know, that's what, uh, Ryan praises me around for is I'm the guy that went by the book. I didn't do anything like they were doing. They were testing other strategies and stuff. I never did any of that. I went straight by the, the information and the training bare bones. Yep. Um, and, you know, uh, it, it caught on really well. I, I think, um, it, you know, is there a bit of luck? Yeah. Um, does my skill set potentially help a little bit? Sure. Uh, but um you know, you, you can never compare yourself to other people when it comes to, you know, where you're starting from. Yeah. Uh, like when I started, I was brand new. I, am I going to be sitting over here, you know, wondering why I'm not making, you know, 30, 40, 50 K a month. Like, you know, some people that have been at this game for two years, you know, I, mm. I can't, I can't be like, well, I, I want to be like them maybe in two years, you know, yeah. uh, give yourself some time to, to, to learn the training and, and just keep going over it and over it and uh you'll start to see patterns you'll start to you'll start to pick up on stuff like again i never uploaded a youtube video i never knew any of this stuff and as i started doing it i started learning it you know just like anything else uh it doesn't matter if it's a sport or or what whatever you have to you have to do it you have to do it and do it and even if it, it even if it doesn't lead to success immediately uh i can guarantee you if there's two people and one of them stays and one of them leaves the one who stays is going to see success. Like, yep. absolutely. I, I would bet money on that. I would guarantee yep. that. Yep. Um, also, let, uh, let, let's talk about your success. Like, what have you achieved? And when did you join this program? And, like, what's your vision uh, in the coming future? So, I joined, like, end of summer last year. Um, I... About, about five, four, five, six months ago. Yeah, so, yeah. Let's see. Um, yeah, yeah. About about six months ago. Uh, it's crazy. <laughs> I don't even feel like it's been that. It feels like yesterday. I just started. Um, but I was again. Yeah, I was fresh. Like you know, I'm smart, and and I had you know prior business experience and other things. But I had not yeah. touched YouTube since that that one week of making a channel. Um, uh, I, I had zero experience. I, I went into it, and. Um, just gave it everything I had. Like, you know, I was miserable. At my, I was working my job. I was just miserable there. But so when yeah. I came home, I was excited to work on my stuff because I actually enjoyed doing that versus, you know, working my job every day. But the kind of success I've, I've come into, um, I, 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 you know, a little bit of its luck, a little bit of its skill. Um, it, it, it just takes time. Like, um, I, I did, I did hit a lucky streak off the bat and, mm -hmm. um, caught a pretty uh pretty nice wave when it came to like you know going viral and stuff like that but that's yeah. how the youtube algorithm is you know um you can um uh, you can give it everything at once but at, it, ultimately whatever whatever's going through its head that's it's mm -hmm. gonna pick what it wants to pick at the uh whatever it uh qualifies yeah. and uh we don't know like like we know what it looks for but 
whether it chooses to pick it up or not. Yep. Uh, that's not really something that's in our control. The best we can do is try to keep in their eyes and be like, hey, I'm here. Uh, don't forget about me. Um, yep. But yeah, you know, I've, I've, I've been able to get up to um, over 15K a month and um, yep. um, I'm to a point where I was able to uh, leave my job after the first three months, two or three months I was doing this. Um, yep. And now I just do it full time and work on other stuff in the, in the, on the side too. So um, I'm just uh, focused on growth. Uh, kind of just what I'm seeing ahead is uh, just getting creative, you know, like yep. uh, just like anything, you know, anything can get stale. Um, you know, we, there's always new people coming in. Is it saturated? Nah, uh, it, I wouldn't say it's saturated. It, it's just, it, it's forcing you to be creative, you know, get inventive, be innovative, you know, see what everyone else is doing and see how you can stand out because yep. uh, it, it's so easy. If you can, if there's a hundred people and they're all doing the same thing and you come in and you do something completely different, mm. you're going to be the one that gets seen. Yep. Yep. Not totally agree. Um, also talk about how has Ryan helped you in his program? Like uh, um, if you did that, this all by yourself like you didn't know anything about youtube trying to figure <laughs> everything out on your own like what's your opinion on that well uh, I, let's just say i don't want to know what what <laughs> uh, because because because, you know, because i because i do get these questions asked a lot like i'll do everything on my own i'll figure things out on my own <laughs> man uh I, i've probably purchased like eight or nine courses for not youtube but just Whenever I went into a new business, I bought a new course. Why? Yeah. Because I wanted to learn from an expert. You know, uh, I've already seen what happens when you go into something new and you don't have any help. You're going to run into roadblock after roadblock after roadblock. And you're not going to have any idea what to do because uh, you, you don't know what you don't know. You know, if, if you don't know what you're doing, you're not going to learn what you're not going to learn to do what you're doing unless it's been a long time. Like, you know, for Ryan and everyone else who got in way earlier, they didn't have courses to learn from. <laughs> you know, it yep. took them two years to get to this point. And see, where I've gotten to in six months, um, because I, I'm able to avoid a lot of those issues, a lot of those problems. Um, yep. Are there still problems? Of course, there's, there's always gonna be roadblocks, there's always gonna be new stuff coming up that, you know, it's knowledge isn't gonna be able to handle, only experience, you have to go through it so that you can understand it. But uh, yeah, I would 100% recommend getting training or learning from an expert in the field uh, yep. because it'll drastically reduce the time it takes you to see success and be successful. No, I totally agree with that. And with that, you're also going to save money in the long run. Like if you're spending money now, even though you're seeing like big, like no matter like whatever the amount is, you're going to see that money go, but in like, say about maybe one or two months, you're going to double that amount. And I am pretty sure you, you, you were in the same position. Like at that time, like all your money went, like you didn't know if you're going to get it back, but yeah, <laughs> see what happened. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and having someone there to ask questions and, and support you and, um, bounce ideas off of like it's just it's gold like i if i were to go into any other business and i'm already doing other stuff and i can tell you right now i'm learning from experts in the field uh, yeah. uh you know pay whatever it costs to, to to get that training and that experience like you said it saves you money uh yeah. like uh, with affiliate marketing i was doing it for two years and i had a training but i didn't have any direct contact with anybody i couldn't like talk to people or like ask question uh, enough questions or go into great detail. Um, so like I was kind of lost, you know, I was just out there throwing money away. And, and, uh, you know, like I said, I probably wasted like 10, 15,000, maybe even 20,000 on, on advertising. I, <clears throat> even when I got done after the two years, like I just figured out kind of what to do. Uh, and if I had just had like, you know, some one-on-one -on -one or, be able to ask questions to somebody who could like speed that process along. I probably would have done it in a quarter of the time easily. Yep. Not sure. I totally agree. Um, so I'll ask you the last question because we don't want to keep you here for so long. I know you. <laughs> right? 
Um, what's your last advice uh, to people watching this? Like, what's your what's your thought? What's your opinion about the program? And what did you, what will you tell them? Just that you know the the program it, it's been it's been of immense help. Like uh, like I said, I, I I came into this I, I followed it step by step because I had no idea what I was doing. You know, I I'm I'm a computer person at heart, but even that doesn't help you. Like you have to you have to learn this material. Like like YouTube's its own beast in itself. Like you have to to learn the metrics. You you got to learn like uh, the metadata and just. Like mm. all of this stuff, you know, you need someone to walk you through it and show you each what each page looks like and and like where to go, where to how to navigate, like what to what to create, how to create it, you know, all that good stuff. Um, man, uh, I, I tell you right now, I, I jumped into the, the the training. I didn't even have the money for it. Like I, I had about I had about half of it. I jumped in and I didn't even know where the other half was going to come from. But I, you know, I just literally just jumped off the ship there. I uh, would again wouldn't recommend everybody do that. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, I, I kind of had to, but it it showed me that, you know, the the fear that accompanies it is nothing to really be afraid of. You know, because you know the thing I was afraid of more was being stuck at my job for the rest of my life. <laughs> uh, so you know, I'll never ever regret doing that, and just kind of, you know last advice would be like just don't stop you know don't give up like um keep going and like sit down and take time you're you're one of the ones that i you know look at every day and it's like just blows me away you'll sit down for two or three hours and go over your audience and like what do they want to watch like where are my numbers coming from like yeah. that kind of um deep diving and just kind of putting a magnifying glass over it that's what you have to do you have to do that to be successful. Like you have to analyze and you have to make changes accordingly. Like that's, that's what it's all about. So um, yeah, it, you know, if you're, if you're struggling or, or not doing so great, get the help you need. And if you already have the help, ask yep. a lot of questions, <laughs> you know, if it's like, Oh, I've asked 10 questions already. We'll ask 20, like keep asking and get your questions answered so you can move on and, and make changes accordingly and and start like steering yourself towards where you want to be pointed you know yeah. and, and oh have you done oh three or four months i haven't you know no money or i haven't done anything um i've got a channel that's been sitting or uh, not sitting there but it's been you know i've been trying at it for you know about four months have i shut it down no uh, i'm still going it, it's starting to pick up uh yeah. you know especially in youtube we know things can get picked yeah. up a year later, two years later, six months later. So just because you put it up now and it doesn't do crazy, give it time. Just keep keep the attention coming into your channel. Then you know if you, once YouTube puts its eyes on it, uh, you're gonna get promoted. Like it, it's just it's gonna happen. You just gotta keep doing it, even if it like just because someone took ten videos and you take a thousand. Would you still not do the thousand if you knew you were going to get to the same point? Yep. No. Yep. Be patient. Persevere through it. Be persistent. You know, uh, stick with it. You you chose to deviate from a path that you could have been on yep. to do this. You know, stick with it. <laughs> of course. Now that's awesome advice, um, Andrew and. I'd like to personally thank you for because we're supposed to do this live actually last <laughs> night and something happened uh, but i really appreciate your time and thank you for coming down and sharing your story man i really appreciate it no problem glad to have you no worries thank you